Hey guys, it's Andy from Tinker Crate, and I'm gonna show you how to make your own hand crank flashlight, circuitry and all. In your kit you get a set of jumper wires, white and blue LEDs, a resistor, diode, two brads, binding post, rubber ring and cap, breadboard, capacitor, sticky foam circles, stepper motor, Tinker Crate sticker, flashlight body, Velcro strips, double stick foam, and acrylic crank. First, let's hook up our motor. Find the two jumper wires that have pins on each end. The black one between the motor and column 7 on your breadboard. Attach the red one between the motor and column 1 on your breadboard. Grab your other two black and red jumper wires. Connect the red again to column 1 and the black again to column 7. Connect the two jumper wires with a blue LED. Grab your clear crank piece, slide the binding post through the large circular hole in the crank, and then slip the rubber ring and cap on the end. Your crank should be able to rotate around your binding post. Make sure to crank your motor smoothly and gently. If you're too forceful, you may risk breaking it. If your LED doesn't light up, make sure that your wires are securely connected to your motor, the breadboard, and the LED. Also make sure that both red wires are connected to column 1 and both black wires are connected to column 7. As a last resort, try replacing your LED. Now let's add some extra components to our circuit. First, take the red wire that is connected to your LED and move it from line 1 to line 6. Take your resistor and fold the sides down. Attach one to line three and the other to line six. Fold your diode wires down the same way. Attach one to line one and the other to line three. Stop and test your circuit. If your LED turns on, great! If not, try turning the diode around. It'll only work in one direction. Attach your capacitor between lines three and seven. Try flipping it around and see which direction works best. Next, remove the black wire from your blue LED. Attach the yellow wire. Then attach the white LED to the yellow and black wires. Try cranking your flashlight. Do both LEDs light up? If not, flip your white LED around. All right, now let's attach our circuit to our flashlight box. Take your motor and slide the shaft through the large hole. Then secure your motor in place with your two brads. Find your two black sticky foam circles. Bend them slightly to find the one with the slit in it. Line up the one with the slit with the small rectangular hole on your crank. Attach the circle on the opposite side of the rubber cap and ring. Attach the other black circle to the opposite side. Press your crank onto your motor shaft. Attach two sticky foam pieces to the bottom of your breadboard. Line it up with the two holes on your flashlight box and stick it down. Now let's put it all together. First, detach your white LED from the yellow and black jumper wires. Slip the LED through the two slits in the front of the flashlight. Then reattach the wires. Try cranking your flashlight. If your LEDs don't light up, switch the yellow and black wires. Stick your blue LED to the inside of the flashlight box with a piece of sticky foam. Stick your soft Velcro strip to the top panel of the inside of your flashlight box. Roll your box up and attach the scratchy strip to the bottom so the two can be pressed together. Tuck your wires into the body of your flashlight. Then fold the front and back panels in. Crank the handle of your flashlight and make a note of where it passes the bottom of the window. This is where you attach your sticker. Take your flashlight to a dark room and give it a few cranks. The white LED will point out the front and act like a normal flashlight, while the blue LED points inwards to illuminate your circuit. 
If you're having trouble getting your flashlight to work, crack it open. Make sure that all the components are securely fastened in their correct location. Congratulations, you finished your hand crank flashlight. Make sure to check out your Tinkerzine for some awesome experiments to show you how each one of your electronic components within your flashlight works. Share any photos you might have with us on Facebook for adventures you take your flashlight on, and I'll see you next time.